Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, Bitcoin price will struggle in big financial crisis, says Investor. This is something I really want to dive into today because a lot of people are discussing what exactly Bitcoin will do when the global economy inevitably goes into another recession, perhaps a year to three years from now. A lot of people believe that Bitcoin will have a, some kind of major rally, but that's not necessarily the only thing that it might do. This investor, Spencer Bogart, thinks that in the long term, Bitcoin will absolutely be a safe haven, but in the short term, Bitcoin might struggle if we were to enter a recession. Session. This is something that I really want to dive into, so we're going to talk about this a little bit more later on in the video. But before we get to that, guys, of course, we have some technical analysis to do because unfortunately, Bitcoin has a Bart Simpson down. We see that Bitcoin ran up here and traded around $10,500 yesterday. We did not see a break of that. We did, in fact, see a rejection there. So we need to do some analysis on that and get caught up to speed on what exactly that means for Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets. And most importantly, guys, whether or not that means we're about to have a bearish breakout below this uptrend of support. So guys, we've got a lot to get into in today's video. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure you smash that like button to help the YouTube video get ranked in the algorithm. And also make sure if you're new here to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be updated every single time a new video goes live. But anyway, guys, without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. The first thing I want to do is get us caught up to speed on what's gone on here over the last 24 hours or so. I'm going to go ahead and put the chart on replay while we talk here. As you guys know, Bitcoin rallied all the way to $11,000 and we did see a crash down to 9,008. From there, over the last few days, starting around on the 22nd, we did see Bitcoin start to rally and move to the upside. Unfortunately, as we're about to see here, it didn't get very far. We did see a major breakup to around $10,450. But like I said, unfortunately, that did start to taper off last night and we did fall kind of through the floor and come down here and test support around $9,920. My alarm's going off. From there, over the last two hours, as we've been researching and recording this video, Bitcoin has tried to put a bottom in and it's a very important bottom at that. As you guys know, we have this uptrend of support right here that we want to maintain. If we look at the hourly chart, what that is, is this uptrend of support. If we look at the daily chart, it starts to become apparent just how significant that uptrend is. This is the same uptrend. And guys, as you can see, this uptrend constitutes the level of support on this bull pennant that we've been in for a while. So if we were to break bearish out of that, as you know, we would probably be headed to lower price targets. And the main reason I want to do some analysis on this today is because Bitcoin fell over here. And you know, Bitcoin, a lot of times it will have opportunities to go and do something bullish. It'll have an opportunity to start a rally. It'll have an opportunity to have a breakout, either bullish or bearish. And whether or not Bitcoin takes that is the really important question. As you guys can see here, Bitcoin tried to start a rally as it was bouncing from around $9,700 a little while ago. Didn't happen. We fell over. Then what we did is we tried to bounce from a little bit of a higher low up here, and we didn't even get halfway back to where we got the last time. And this time, we didn't even get halfway back to where we started. That is not a bullish look for Bitcoin. Whenever you see a bounce here, you don't want to see it start set a lower high. That is just, I mean, that's textbook bearishness for Bitcoin. And the reason that's so significant is because if Bitcoin gets a bounce down here and can only go this far. I mean, Bitcoin can only rally, let's say six and a half percent when Bitcoin was making 300 plus percent gains earlier on in the year. That's a very strong sign against the bulls. And in fact, that's what's exactly happened here. Bitcoin fell over and currently we're trading at and just a little bit below sometimes $10,000 flat. So, okay, Bitcoin having a weak bounce is bearish, but surely there are some bullish technicals, right? Let's dive into those because it's not exactly the case. As you guys can see here, this means that we do now have a down trend on Bitcoin, which does mean we are now in a pennant of sorts. We have this longer term uptrend and this shorter term downtrend. Now, I do want to point this out, and that is that the longer the term that the trend line shows up on, typically the stronger it's going to be. This one, the, this downtrend of resistance is the weaker one because it's shorter. This longer term trend line is the uptrend of support, so it's typically going to be stronger. So by that note, Bitcoin very well may expect to have a bounce here, and we may see Bitcoin rally above previous highs coming in the next several days, moving on in to the beginning of September. That is a possibility. I want to put that on the table, although I don't necessarily believe that's what's most likely, but watch out for that because if Bitcoin does break this downtrend, that would be a bullish sign that could potentially lead us to higher price targets. But that's not exactly where I see Bitcoin going, guys. As you can see, MACD on the hourly chart has fallen off a cliff here as Bitcoin did the same. And if we move out here to longer term timeframes, it's not looking great either. On the four hourly, it looks like we're about to have a bearish cross and that's pretty much confirmed. That's not really going to get reversed. We're going to see this bearish cross. It may come back back and cross bullish again soon, but we're definitely going to see a bearish cross here. On the daily chart, the MACD started converging bullish on itself for a day as we had that little bounce. Unfortunately, that has not continued. Bitcoin's MACD is now pushing even farther lower and below the zero level on the histogram and in fact, diverging bearish. Not a good look for Bitcoin. Furthermore, guys, if we look at our Fibonacci retracement levels, we rejected last night off of the 38.2% Fibonacci level, as you can see right over here. 
These are important levels, guys. A lot of times people just don't really care all that much about Fib levels, but they are important. They are crucial. And we rejected off of one last night. That's also not a good look for Bitcoin, guys. These are not things that you want to see coming out of Bitcoin when it has just put a bounce in literally two and a half days ago. If Bitcoin had been on a rally for three days, or, or excuse me, not three days, like a, like a week, then it would be one thing for Bitcoin to reject and start heading a little lower. Right now, guys, this has crushed any of the optimism that was in my heart. I was looking forward to Bitcoin maybe using the fear and greed index as an overbought signal and trying to push higher. If we could have broken $11,000, then I would have been more bullish on Bitcoin. But guys, there's a reason I didn't put any longs in yet because I wanted to see how this played out. And since I didn't put any longs in, luckily I didn't have to close any of them at a loss because guys, when you're making a trade, you gotta be careful and make sure you have the right signals. I hope you guys have been safe in this market so far. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna say it one more time because you guys know I like pointing it out. If Bitcoin does break to the downside here, it's not the end of the world. We do have the 20 EMA to catch us down here at $9,000. And I would honestly be relatively happy to see Bitcoin move down there. And at this point, guys, I'm just gonna be upfront. I've been kind of on the fence about what I think Bitcoin's gonna do with this bottom down here. The fact that we've traded down here so much, I'm well into the camp of bearishness. I think we're gonna break bearish and I will be looking for a short position over the next couple of days. I'm kind of tired of just of just having to change my mind because the short-term technical analysis is changing. Now guys, don't get me wrong. It's important that you're able to change your mind and update your position in real time as you get more information from the market. But at this point, even if Bitcoin were to have some kind of breakout here, unless it's significant, I think I have all the data I need and probably more than I need to make a con to, to make a conclusion that Bitcoin is going to break bearish here. That's my position at the moment. I mean, guys, look at this. If we draw a trend line through the middle of this consolidation pattern that Bitcoin is in, look at how much trading has been done on the bearish side compared to the bullish side. Guys, Bitcoin can't break bullish out of this pattern if it's not even up here near the resistance. You just can't do it. But what Bitcoin does like to do is it likes to stay down here above the level of support and very close to it. And because of that, it makes it much easier for Bitcoin to break it. If you guys are in CT2A, you will know in the level of in the gauging of the strength of support and resistance videos, as Bitcoin comes down and tests a level of support over and over and over again, the more times that it tests it, the more likely it is that it is inevitably going to break it. So guys, my position on this is that Bitcoin's about to break bearish in the next seven days and see a crash down to the 20 EMA. Now, if Bitcoin pulls some radical change out of its sleeve, then maybe that position will change but that's my position at the time being. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about the market and which direction you think Bitcoin is going to be headed here over the next several days. I really want to see if a lot of you guys agree with my sentiment of bearishness and that Bitcoin's about to break to the downside, or if you guys think that Bitcoin is about to rally. Oh, and by the way, to put the final nail in the coffin, as it were, Bitcoin is about to have a bearish cross on the weekly chart. And of course, I'm using that wording because it's pretty funny. I'm not trying to spread FUD. Um, you guys know I think we'll get a bounce around the 20 EMA. But anyway, guys, let's dive into a little bit of news. This is going to be brief because this video does need to get out early. Bitcoin price will struggle in a big financial crisis, says investor. Spencer Bogart, a general partner at venture capitalist firm Blockchain Capital, thinks that Bitcoin will be a safe haven in the long term. However, he has a nuanced view of how Bitcoin price will play out with respect to various economic events. I'm, I'm going to quickly read through what he says here. He says, I think longer term, Bitcoin will absolutely be a safe haven. I think that when you have looming risks of monetary devaluation, things like this, Bitcoin certainly looks very attractive, and I think that was a large driver of the recent run-up in price action. I absolutely agree. I would also say that it has a lot to do with the people that made a lot of money in 2017 coming back to the space and trying to have a gold rush in 1851 as well as 1849, if you will. He also says, when you think about really severe crises taking place, a liquidity crunch and another global financial crisis, I think that Bitcoin will struggle to do very well from a price perspective. And that's an interesting perspective because in the YouTube space anyway, you see a lot of people saying that when there's a recession coming, uh, Bitcoin's probably going to do very well and it's going to act as a hedge as gold and silver and some other commodities do during recessions. But guys, I'm not so convinced that's the case because I want to point something out. Gold has been around literally since the dawn of human civilization. There's no doubt about what gold is capable of, about what gold will do. And I'm not saying there is in Bitcoin either to me, but for Bitcoin to be able to be a safe hedge against traditional finance markets in the event of a financial crisis like 2008 or 2001 or the 70s, for Bitcoin to do that, I think it's going to need a lot more trust by the general populace. So I'm not totally convinced that Bitcoin is going to be the ultimate safe haven and the ultimate hedge because I believe that as Bitcoin grows, it will turn into um, a commodity that people like to put their stores of value in like gold. But for now, the rest of the market's 
still look at Bitcoin as a speculative investment. And guys, you do know that speculative investments don't tend to do very well in recessions. So I'm not trying to spread FUD. I'm not saying that Bitcoin's going to crash if there's a recession, but I ain't, but I do want to temper the overwhelming belief that Bitcoin's just going to skyrocket when a new recession starts just because it's going to be a hedge against traditional markets. I don't necessarily think that's going to be the way that works because I don't necessarily believe that everybody in traditional finance markets believe in Bitcoin in the same way that we do, or else, of course, they would have already invested in it. So guys, that's just my two cents on the topic. This article will be linked in the description down below if you'd like to read the rest of it. I just briefly wanted to touch on the idea of Bitcoin being a hedge for the coming recession. Maybe 10, 20 years from now when Bitcoin's more adopted, it will be a hedge. And in fact, I'm pretty confident on that, but I'm not so sure about the one that people are predicting will be coming in the next one, two or three years. But anyway, guys, at the time of recording this video, Bitcoin is moving even lower. So it seems I may be getting vindicated as we speak here. You guys can see we had a little bounce at around $9,900 and we're moving even lower from that. But guys, unfortunately, that is going to have to wrap the video up. I have a feeling Bitcoin is going to break bearish when this video is done. If it does, everything in this video is still relevant. So don't worry about that. Just go check your charts and do your own technical analysis. And hopefully we'll be able to do a live stream to get caught up on it this afternoon. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy and if you did, make sure you check out the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy as linked in the description down below. Guys, there is a August 2019 $40 off coupon code running for CT2A down below. If you use that coupon code, you get $40 off at checkout and you'll get enrolled in the course for only $159, which guys is a amazing price to pay for what you're getting. You're going to get 33 videos on Monday. It'll be 35 because we already have some new videos recorded. And if you want to learn about Bitcoin and Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis, guys, you need to have some kind of resource to do so. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to learn this stuff on your own. A lot of the things that are in this course, you're not going to find on YouTube, especially the things down here in the technical analysis section. If you want to learn cryptocurrency technical analysis and start making the most out of your trading and your investing, invest in your education first. And I know it will help you to become profitable in these markets. So guys, check out CT2A linked in the description down below. August 2019 at checkout, that'll give you $40 off. We have a full 14 day refund guarantee. If you don't like the product, Product for any reason whatsoever, you can get your money back. And guys, if you are unsure about whether or not you want to join CT2A, you can shoot me an email at cryptojeb at gmail.com to ask some questions, or you can join the Discord server in the description down below and talk to one of our 800 members. At least 100 of the students here in CT2A are also in the Discord server, so you can see what they think about the Academy. Spoiler alert, they're probably going to say good things. I say that because I always see them say good things. But anyway, guys, like I said, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I really do hope you guys did enjoy watching and I do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching as always because I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.